Well, hello friends, this is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. American Campaign. Land battles hard, sea battles hard. John Paul Jones. You can see the ribbons. Only missing that one. What I did since last time is I just upped these units on the ship. And um, I was going to make an artillery unit, but um, I was low on tech. But I, when I quit the game and I came back in, it allowed me to sell and I got some more reps. So I technically, you know, need eight, but then I'd have to, But when you make an artillery unit, even though I have cannons, they charge you for the recruits or they charge you for the guns that the recruits have. And it's too bad they didn't default to any guns that you already have, so they don't have to charge us for the guns that the artillery unit would have. Like... If I click on this one, I don't know necessarily, you know, what uh, rifle he has. So that's why, even though I have cannons, which this is the mortar, but I'm just using it as an example. Um, if you don't have the rifles that, that whatever defaults to artillery, and you have to pay for them, and that's why it costs his rep. So it cost me eight rep to get the cannon tech, and then it would cost me a couple points um, of rep. And at the time, I didn't have much, but I sold off the prisoners and got a little bit extra. But I had to use some of that when I buy rifles anyway for all these other ones. And on these ships, I just move them down to the minimum. put them in reserves and then bump up the other ships like these. Alright, so anyways. Next battle, Savannah, land battle. Put six ships in. 46. And we I keep it at the hard difficulty. Oh, 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 it don't even give me the choice anymore anyway, for, for a land battle, I guess. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so put the transports. And I'll put the USS Ranger. Bonholm Richard. Rochester. And the Sphinx. And this is all I have left. And they're stripped down to the minimums. So that means my whole crew is right here, 45, 31. Other than these, this 220, this 220, and that 120. That's my whole everything. All right, Captain, the French have arrived and are eager to commence the assault. The British have built a wooden readout in Spring Hill that overlooks town garrison mostly. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna pause. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I mean, I remember this one now. I think we only have to get this. And I, if, if I remember correctly, like, I think I go over to, like the strategy I used, I think, is we go to the town and then we come up this way to take this, I think. And then we use this against them. You, you can bum rush it right here and get it, but the guns here are gonna just, 
I know they hit all in this area here. Like, I do remember this battle. But I'm playing it on hard, so I mean... But yeah, I think that's what my... I, I think that's the strategy I learned on this, and I think... Because you, you don't want to... Uh, yeah, and that's the way... That's the only way to conserve your force. Any other way, you're going to get a murderous uh, result. Now, like I said, I do have a large force. But again, I don't want to... Um, waste it. So anyways, let me see. No. No. Yeah, I'm just going to try to merge some units. Oh, and, and, and I, I forgot about this, but they give us some allies, too. All right. Because I, I don't have royal fuselers. So they give us these four units. So, yeah, that's nice. All right. All right, I think some of the units will merge. So I'm going to have to let that happen first. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather merge some units and make them bigger, so that way I don't have as many units all over the place. I wonder if I can merge these two. Yep. Well, how about this one and that one? Nope. How about this one and that one? Yep. Nope. Alright, let's get moving folks. Once they merge, I don't think anybody's merging here, so yeah, like I said, I wanna, I'm gonna have, to, I'm gonna have to have them go a little faster. Yeah. Just want to get the guys moving a little bit. So let me see. Like I said, if you're gonna watch me, you can go fast ahead of the video if you want, because I like to, um, like this is fun to do, but I mean I like to conserve my troops and figure out where their artillery is going to hit me or not and so this the setup might not be interesting to you so you can always speed ahead and I can speed too like I'm going a little bit fast I know they have guns and I mean I just don't want to get hit by them while I'm just trying to uh, f feel the battle out like I said I haven't played this battle in months, but I do remember it, and I remember what I did in it, so, but that was during a normal campaign, and this one is a hard campaign, and that is that, okay, go a little bit faster, I guess.
Because I know those ships can hit us too, so that's the only tricky part of this, of trying to get this. But I believe I've done this two ways. One is just brute force right through here, get the flag, and then hide in this area. Yeah, we're getting hit, I think. I heard... Oh, that artillery. Okay, let's go. Damn it. All right. Oh. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they have done. They definitely have done something. Readjusting this battle. So the strategy might not be the best, but. I, I'm gonna just send as much infantry as I can that way. You know, and these scr these uh, skirmishers are always a pain because they help the artillery to see us. Now, how can that one be blocked? I mean, really? Yeah, and they deliberately put that ship there to stop us from doing this, but that's okay. I, I don't care. I'm gonna go up there because I'm gonna get those guns. I don't mind losing my troops uh, to get there, but we are getting here. I don't care. I'm gonna take that at all costs. Let's go. I still have these guys here, so we're just going to get them over there for now. That's everybody except this one. All right, over here. All right, so anyways. Can't hit every unit, so get up here. guys I'm gonna need them to run okay so that these guys are safe here I think so now we just got to get this all right guys over here just get up here before yeah because he can hit all in this area here so I got a I got a fair force right here
All right, come on. Let's just get him. Yeah, and now once we get these guns. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, so they're going to they're going to harass us. Okay, so you shoot him. You my friend, shoot him. You my friend, shoot him. You my friend. Get here. Yeah, you get right there. You get right there, and you go right there. All right, let me see. And once I get people on the guns, I mean... Okay, we've got him too. Okay. Oh well, if they want to charge us, then let's let them charge. We will charge too. All right, let's go, everybody. All right. Now I said charge and help them out. You don't let one unit do it. You got to do it all yourselves. Come on. Come on, get in there. Yeah, because see, that's what they're going to do, but, um, all right, now, I want you to, yeah, you shoot that, I mean, I hope you can, can you shoot that ship? I hope so. Now, who can get on a gun? You can. So you get on a gun right there. You, you get on that gun there. No, um, I can send the fuselers after them. No, I want you to go there. Okay, so now I'm going to do to them what they did, they would do to me. <laughs> okay, and that's why I do this, okay. So this does work, it's just that you have to watch out for that ship. And you have to watch out for this one. But yeah, I'm going to move these two fuselers over here. I'm going to see if I can... One unit there, one unit there, one unit right here. Get my mortar right there for now. Supply can get over there.
yeah, the shots are just bouncing off, but hey, it was worth a try, right? Alright, now let me sort this out for a minute. I think I need a unit right there. I got one right here. Yeah, we're just gonna let them do it, especially while we have ammo. And this is what you call like initially losing a lot, but conserving your force now I don't know he's gonna go over there so let me see if I can put one fuse over there and the other one over there so we gotta watch out that ship can shoot us and this force I'm just leaving here for now um, I, I wonder if I could get into this area or will I get hit by them Now this, I believe, is a mortar. Then they have artillery, 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 artillery. So you can see a, an attack like this, you can only get in through here, I think. And you can get in through here and I think right over there. But um, just think of these and the mortar hitting all your units. Now, like I said, I have won this by brute force going through here and then just hiding in this area and trying to hold the flag. So that's one way of doing it. The other way... Yeah, so, okay. Now, alright, so this is interesting. If they come in this area, these these artillery can hit them. Oh, but uh, okay, he's getting hit by. Yeah, this ship is gonna be really annoying me. If I had mobile, if I tell you, if I had mobile artillery, I'd probably come down this way, go right over here, and and shoot this one. But we have a unit here, so I have to suffer with this. And now that I got this, I probably can move into this area, I would think. Let me let me test it out. Yeah, boy. Oh, oh, I see cuz he's running over there. No. Just get over there. We'll have to accept the fact that there's 30 over here. And that means I probably would have to have... Well, let me see. We go right there. Yeah, I think I can get in this area and not worry about the ship attacking me. So yeah, so maybe I can start getting ready. All right, let's move. Let's move my mortar. So, oh yeah, and they gave us a supply wagon here too, um, the allies. The 100 is mine, and so that, so yeah, so you do get some allies in this. That's, this is an ally right here. And see, the problem with me going over here, too, is they, they might challenge me in this area, but that's okay. I mean, we'll give these guys some experience. So you go right there.
As long as that ship can't hit us, that's what's of concern. So, yeah. Yeah, the only thing that stopped us from going over here before was these, the artillery that was here. Because their artillery is facing the wrong way. For us, anyway. Their ship is still shooting. Okay, I think they stopped. Notice how they're going over here? Now, is he making any progress on this ship? Not really. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah, I'm going to put the prisoners over here because I don't want them to go over here and get them. Look at this, 105 right there. Wow. Yeah, and he's going to go right there because this 38. Yeah, see, he's trying to sneak in and he might try to get the prisoners. If we follow him, then the, the uh, ships will shoot us. So we just got to wait for him to come back and hopefully we can kill him off. Now, Kid might try to follow him, so we don't want that to happen. Because I know that this ship could probably hit a certain area. Like, I ought to test it out, but, but then this artillery will hit us. So, okay, now, I just wanted to show you this. Um, as you can see, right, just these three artillery units um, cleared this whole area out. And I think they're now working on the mortar, which would be nice to capture it, but... Um, And the units are going to try to come back anyway. So, like I said, let's see now. They got one, two, three, four. Four full infantry units. They have one, two, three artillery facing that way and one artillery facing this way. And I'm wondering if one of these is mobile. I'm not sure. This one might be. Oh yeah, look at. See how the artillery just tears you up? I mean... <laughs> and so do you think I wanted to come this way and get, t you know, blasted? No way. And as I told you, they will challenge us.
Uh, no double quicken. No, 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 no. You just hold position. Oh, um, oh, behind us. Okay. Okay, he's gone. Oh, no, no, you don't have to. He's gone. He's gone. He's done. All right, yeah, that's the one that was peskying around here, I guess. Good. Yeah, I think once we get uh, this unit, that unit, and that unit done, I think then we can stop moving up. And I think one of these guns is mobile. Let me try to figure that one out. Let's see. Yeah, this is the mobile one. Yeah, because I don't think... Yeah, these are coast... Like, what they call coastal, I guess. But, yeah, this is mobile. So, actually, can we... Can we go over there? Yeah, and, and like I said, I, I know that these coastal guns can hit, like, even in this area here. Because if you come in here brute force and take this, and then you hide along here and just try to hold any units that keep coming in to fight them off. I mean, you can cap the flag. Yeah, look, 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 they're hitting, they're hitting all the way to this unit right here. I mean, that's incredible. So Okay, look, will you just go forward? I want you to I want to engage. I mean he's over there for a reason, so I guess we'll work on that while they're trying to wipe out those guys. Okay. Let's focus on oh, he's gonna go back. Now we can't go, like I have to watch out because they do have artillery over there. Oh yeah, they can hit me. Darn it. Okay, back here. Run. Darn it. All right. Yeah, there's no sense in getting hit by artillery. I mean, I'm not serious. I thought we could just have a nice little engagement right there, but no. You go there, and you go right here. Let him come to us. Okay, so the mobile gun is right here. So now if I can move it over there, let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I mean, I have a thought here because like I said, before this battle, I was gonna make an artillery unit myself, like have a cannon unit. I mean, I have a mortar, but I was gonna make that. But it would take a lot of my rep. It would take eight rep and then probably two rep to make a 100 man um, cannon unit. And, but I do have this one. So like I, as long as you don't, you know, like I said, the way I look at it when I'm doing this, I'm I'm playing and then I'm experimenting and I'm having fun, and but it, it but it might not be as entertaining to you. But like I said, you have the option of either speeding ahead to see the end result or something like that. But my thought is, I don't have my own artillery unit, and and if I did, I'd make a hundred man unit as opposed to a fifty. Now, this, there's this one gun up here that's mobile, and that's this one right here. And, I, and normally I use it to come over here with a few units and then start working on these units. But they're still probing me, and th so this artillery here, the coastal, will do the job of killing any unit over here. And then he's like... Yeah. I just want to make sure these units don't follow him. Excuse me, but my 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 thought is this: is let me see if I can move a unit over here. See if he can adjust his shot to me. Cause what I want to do, and like I said, it would it would probably take too long um, this video uh, like it's 12 o'clock right now in the video it's like 1246 in like game time and my only thought is if I could use if I could bring in like a hundred and have this mobile one here you see right now he's gonna take a shot at this one right here but anyways um, I was thinking if I can get an artillery unit over here could I hit him in the rear enough to get him to um, sink? Oh, no. Alright. Now see the artillery shot him and he just surrendered. And then um, that's what that artillery would do to you if you were in this area. Or if you were in this area right here. Now these two units got whittled down from 164 or whatever to this already. So, uh, you know, and it's all good because, you know, I'm not losing much for this to happen. And, and that's the whole point of this is to conserve your force. Because in the last two sea battles, I lost 50% of my crew in both of those battles. So that means 5,000 crew I lost in the last two battles. So this is a land battle and I've lost initially, but I don't want to lose 50% of what I have. I do not. Now, where is my mortar? Fire! Um, yeah, cause I'm missing, what I'm missing right here is My mortar should be in a spot where it can actually shoot. So, yeah, right over there. It's too late now because he already withdrew, but... My, my mortar should be in a spot where if, it com if they come up and engage my infantry, my mortar should be able to take shots at them. Alright, so we have a prisoner here. I don't... I guess a prisoner has to go like that. You go right there. Oh, okay, yeah, um... Okay, so I'm right there. Is he? He's not shooting at me, is he? Let me see. Let me, what happens if I go right there? I mean, this is just an experiment. Like, I do this in some of the land battles. But I, I remember doing it in one battle where I whittled the ship down enough and um, the ship 
Oh, now, how does this one... Oh, because they have a back gun. I. Alright, well, you know what? And do they have a forward gun? Because, you know, uh, this would be an experiment. Okay, alright. <laughs> like, I... I should probably do two videos. One of just getting this objective, and then the other one I should experiment in. But what I... What I yeah, okay, so you have a back gun. Alright, so that's not going to work. But, what I think is going to work, let me see. But, the only way I can do it is to have... Alright, let's go with... Uh, this fuseler. Get over here. Yeah, I'm going to go fast, too, because, like I said, those coastal guns are just working on those, but... I'll even move the cannon. Yeah, because, look, he, he's coming up, like, doing something stupid where the guns can shoot him. I mean, that is really stupid. So while that is going on, we're with... We're, we're um... We might, I might already be in a position where I can now approach and, and do this. The only thing that I wanted to try was, let's get this unit. And the reason I'm going fast and it's going to burn up time, but I mean, if these guys do something stupid, these kind of, these cannons are just going to rip them apart, and that's fine, because the more they rip apart, the less I have to do when I do approach that flag to win this battle. But my thought is, just out of curiosity, where will... Okay, so now it's, it's Foley that I'm not concerned with at the moment. It's this one here, Keppel. I want to see what Keppel can do, because if I go this way, I want to see where Keppel, what his range is. So now, does he see this unit? I mean, there's a hill right here. Let me see if I can go to the hill. That'd be the first test. So can I go to the hill? Oh, now what happened? Oh, yeah, okay, so one of the infantry units, did, you know, like I said, Got hit, lost morale, ran this way because I think they think their ships are here and, and this and this is probably the way that they would retreat. And these, these guns just, you know, just destroy them. Now the problem is I can't move these guns, but can we hit anybody else? I don't think so. Okay, now, um... Alright, Keppel is... He does, he does see the unit. All right, let me see. He does see the unit. All right, so then maybe I'd have to go over here. I just want to know if he has a front-end gun, because... Okay, so, alright. 
So he's perfectly safe right here. It's 110. So my experiment would be if I can get this ship, I mean this uh, artillery over here. Now wait a minute, who's he shooting at? Can't, what? Who, who is hitting me? So, the, so does that ship have a front gun too? I don't think this ship does. So yeah, here's what I'm thinking. If I can put, if I can put that cannon unit right here, I can shoot the ship. The whole point of this is to see if I could somehow Yeah, but the only way I could capture that ship, though, is if I got on one of these boats, and that'd be kind of... That'd be kind of hard to do, because, yeah, you could come down over here and get on this boat, but you're going to have to go past this ship right here to, to get the boat over here to get on this... <laughs> yeah, that would be... That would be, that would be too, too hard to do, yeah, unfortunately. So my little plan might not work anyway, but that's okay. Uh, we, I'll, I'll end it shortly, I guess, baby. But you can hear shots take being off, so I mean, I don't know who's shooting, but Yeah, he's shooting. He's shooting over in that area, but I don't think he could hit us, to be honest. Alright, so now you shoot that. Can you can you shoot that? Oh yeah, he can hit. Okay, so we lost one guy, right? And and look at the damage we're doing on that ship right there. All right, we lost a couple of guys now. And I think they had 110 on. Look at that. It's just an experiment. It's unfortunate that they, that they that ship has a front gun, though. That's what I'll tell you there. Otherwise, you know, this would be... I wouldn't be taking any damage, but... Oh, look at that. Like, every time... I can accept losing a couple of guys over... Like, that's seven damage right there. That's two... Eight, I mean... Oh, oh I gotta look at his supply too. Now, I could have brought a supply wagon over too. Um, oh yeah, look at, look at this ship now. Look at the damage. So the other qu question that I would have about doing something like this is well this ship's a weaker ship though compared to Foley 
Yeah, so we're down to 46, but so we lost four, and and now we're out of ammo. So we're gonna sh we're only gonna shoot at one third the rate, but that's okay. Um, my other question is this. I think this guy has a front gun, so he kind of irritated me over here, I think. And then this one has a back gun that irritated me here, because my thought would be... This this one is shooting him, and he's not... From a distance, the browns are just bouncing off. Notice, from the time that I took this and put it, him here, right? He's been doing nothing but constantly shooting at this. And ammo is down to 4%, so I mean, we, we went from 100 or 90-something all the way down to that. And look, no real return at all on that. So, if that artillery unit could get right over here, but front gun would hit, uh, back gun would hit. And I don't know if this ship, I don't think this ship has any guns, but maybe it does, I don't know. And this ship, it would take a long time to wear it down, where unlike this one over here... I, oh, look at this! Right? Okay, so now, had I brought the supply wagon along with this one, he'd be shooting at full rate. And this ship is down to 93 from 100 to 10. And look at all that damage. And we lost four guys. And then, this one was 135, so, you know... He lost, uh, what, uh, eight guys or something? And it's all from Foley shooting a frontal gun, you know? Um, it, ain't fr it ain't from this ship. So yeah, so anyways, um, it was just, it was just a, an experiment, is what it was. Um, as you can see, um, everybody else is dead other than these two, so... I guess I could, I could just leave this be, I guess, um, this part of it. Uh, the question is, you know, can we sink him? Or, it'd be nice to capture him, but there's no lifeboat over here for me to get on, so I can't do it, but. So, no, so it's just an experiment, see if we can wipe out one ship. I'd really rather have captured this, wipe this one out, but the way they got this, you know, they got it just in a way that makes it hard to do that. Because the lifeboats are here that you could use to get on and get on the ship. The only question is, how do you knock out... ...one of these ships? Because you can't get over here, because he will blast you, so you can't get at that one. And you can come over here probably, but you're going to get hit from a frontal and this one in the back. So, and then if you shoot this, if I put the cannon right here and, and try to hurt him, but the question is, they won't give up. And I, and I think it's hardwired that way in this battles, in these land battles, it's hardwired. Meaning, the dev ain't gonna let you do what I'm trying to th thinking that you could do. Because in the one battle that I could have done it, I forget the name of the battle. I, I got the ship really down, and the only thing you could do is hit it enough to where it sinks. So they don't let the guys that are on the ship uh, surrender. So I think it's hardwired. I mean, a test would be if these guys surrendered, but I'm going to tell you already I know because I've done this in another battle where uh, they'll sink the ship before they allow it to be surrendered in a, in a land battle to try to get that ship. So. But, anyways, it was an experiment. Okay. That being said, uh, let's get my best unit, not best units, but big units. So we'll go that one, that one, that 
Oh yeah, we'll get the fuselage going. And we'll get our border. Okay, so we're down to 38. I mean, just from one frontal gun. I mean, that's that's incredible. But anyways, it's just it's just a try to see if we can kill that ship just or will they surrender? And I know they won't. So it's a matter of let's see if we can sink that ship just for the heck of it. I mean, they're going to wipe out this gun anyway. I'm that one frontal gun is doing all that work. But anyways, okay. Let's get back to the thing. Alright, let's go to normal speed. Okay. Okay, and while that... Oh, and you, Jones, get over there. Okay, so now while that's getting there, and if they turn the guns, which I don't think they can, it's coastal guns. Oh, now what happened? Secured... Oh. Oh. I'll let my mortar do some work for a moment. Oh, we can actually get that. Nice. All right, that's a freebie. I want. I wonder if that's the mortar. So they didn't actually destroy the mortar. I guess the guys got off the mortar in time before it got destroyed. Cause that coastal artillery, like I told you, look, that coastal artillery hit hit in this area. Cause that mortar was right over here. Now, of course, I could just, you know, rush them and get it, but, um, why isn't my mortar firing? Let me see. Uh, no, 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 Jones, over here. I want the mortar, excuse me. Oh, the mortar's facing the wrong way. Hey, over there. Yeah, and I'm wondering if Jones could shoot that artillery right there. Not retreat, just fall back. Now if I put Kid over here, if he comes back, Kid will shoot at him and this one won't be able to hit him, so, okay. 
Yeah, just like I said, I, I am conservative. Now I can I can send the fuchsias. That, that's allies and that don't care about them. But um, I'm gonna let my now we did enough time to where we can actually finish. So now we can actually finish. But like the only difference here I could have made is if I brought the supply wagon to support him, so he could shoot at a full rate. Because, well, you know, like I said, I was, <laughs> we got down to 85, I mean, he had 110, and look at the damage. But like I said, they're not going to surrender, there's no way. I think it's hardwired that uh, th they're not going to let that happen to get a freebie. Yeah, see, that worked. Okay, so kid, you just hold there. See, he's going to come back, and kid can shoot him. Because he wants to come back to get back on his gun. Yeah. And I could end this, like I said, I'm just, I'm just trying to kill time. Not kill time, but I mean, I'm trying to... Yeah, let me go fast speed. That way, he'll shoot, even though he'll get shoot one third rate. But I mean, he could, by doing it tr four times the speed, he should be able to keep hitting that ship. Four pounder crew is shattered. All right, and if anything, this will give my mortar experience, right? So yeah, I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping we can see some result right here. But like I said, I, I really think it's hardwired to to make sure you can't do something like this. Because you know what I mean. If you leave it up to the players to do the hey now, kid. Oh boy, that was a mistake. <laughs> run, kid. Run, kid. Man, okay, so kid just lost, you know, whatever, quite a few guys. Yeah, this is again one of the mistakes you make in the game where you highlight it on a character and then you, you hover over here to move and then it thinks you want to go over here and when really I was trying to get the artillery to move a little bit. So it can adjust its shot, maybe. Oh yeah, hey look at my mortar. My mortar is working. Hey. Oh, well, oh. Okay, yeah, see now this artillery over here killed that unit off over here. Do you see how how effective these two coastal guns are? They they that unit was coming over here to harass these guys and those two coastal guns opened up on them and that dissipated the unit. And now my mortar is is doing the job right here so let me yeah, let's put the mortar right there right on the flag 
And anything coming in this area, the mortar will hit. And I don't want the mortar to move, so I'm going to say hold, yeah. Oh, I see. I had Kid over here, and I was highlighted on him, and then somehow I went over here to look at this, and I... And then Kid... That's... Yeah, so that was my mistake. So, yeah. So, I imagine... The moment this unit... If this is the only unit, the moment he dissolves, they should finish it on me. Whether I want, you know, like, whatever, but, um... Hey, okay, alright, alright, here's the answer. <laughs> here's the answer. Good, good, good. Because it might end any moment once that unit, uh, disbands. Here's the answer. They will not, on a land battle, when you are in this situation, you can use artillery to, to hit them, but... The answer is, they will not surrender the ship. They will stay on it right to the bitter end. And the only thing that will happen is you could sink it. But they will not surrender. And and, and, uh, and in this situation where there is no lifeboat, but if there was a lifeboat, like say they had one of these ships over here. Um, it would be lifeboats here, so I could... Uh, get on the lifeboat and come over here and take this ship if they would surrender but the answer is that they won't let it happen they will not let it happen look like this ship is sinking look at that they will not let you uh, cause you know that would be something else wouldn't it if in a land battle you do something like this and if there was a lifeboat yeah because the Haitians shattered so I don't know if there's any more enemy on the battlefield and this ship Yeah, so I'll, I'll wait long enough for it to sink. Because I already kept the flag. I already could have won it. And matter of fact, I'm going to move... Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Let me see. Do I have a land unit here? No. All right, you go cap that. And you go cap that. There's no other guns around here to cap. It suck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, no. That answers the question. Okay. All right. So that that's the answer to the question. So if you ever wondered, like me, in a land battle, is it possible to try to capture one of these stationary ships? And there are lifeboats over here. I mean, it is possible to sink the ship, but not capture it. So anyways, that is the answer, and I will go ahead and finish. I don't think there's anything else to do. So I want to thank, if anybody, if anybody stuck it out to this point here, I want to thank you for watching. And this, this ship, I mean, this coastal gun, for the whole battle, but it's 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 not it's it's 9:30 at night in game time he shot at this ship the whole time and didn't really damage it i mean look there's no nothing severe like what happened to this ship here so 
So the answer on this is there's, that's just pointless and it wastes ammo that these coastal guns could use to wipe out this. So the answer would be not to not to get on this gun right here. Cause it's it's gonna just drain the it just drained all the ammo and it drain it basically drained. I mean these guys did a job too. So that helped to drain it too, but that's the answer. So alright, we're done. Sorry. I wanna thank you for watching if you if you watched all that. But anyways. Okay, so Okay, so whatever the strategy that I use uh, in my normal campaign, I will say still works in this campaign, the, the hard campaign. Because if you look at here, I had a crew of 4,500 and I just lost 489, not bad. Army strength was 3,000, so the allies came into this and and i don't know if my infantry gets counted in this from the transports like I, I i don't know if somebody can answer that for me then that would be something i'd be interested in, in knowing but um and they only lost 382 so the the way that i did this and i showed every everybody who watches this this is the way to conserve your force because I just lost 5,000 crew from two battles of sea and so in this one I did not want to lose 50% of my force and so they had this and then they had this of army strength and um, look, look at that they lost 20 guns 119 missing <laughs> and look at uh where did i see that uh, uh right here yeah look at this <laughs> keppel sunk <laughs> i sunk one of the ships <laughs> isn't that funny like but that that answers my overall question of trying to capture a ship the the devs probably made sure that that won't happen that they will only allow you to sink it they will not let they would not let a ship surrender and then you take a lifeboat from one of the enemy's ships and they go over there and get it so cap it off so yeah so all right so that that's the only adjust the only adjustment out of this whole battle that i did was i ended up sinking one of their lighter ships and uh that is that okay and we didn't lose anybody other than one wounded and and by capping that, that mortar over there, which the coastal guns, the good news is the coastal guns shot at the mortar and killed some of the mortar and killed some of the unit. And then the unit went away from it. And then the unit ended up dying and didn't stay on the guns to the bitter end. So, and by doing that, I ended up getting one extra mortar. I got a mortar and I got, I got some artillery. So yeah, not not really, you know, like not not really much reward, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. It's a land battle. All right. So like I said, I know it, that stretched out the battle a little bit, but it did answer my question as far as is it possible to get a ship? No. It's only possible to sink a ship. All right, so let's take a look at the four ships that I put into this battle. Rochester has 694. We got 821. Got 642. And 694. So we did lose an officer. Nice. So yeah, let me just make sure I look at that correctly. Yeah, so I, so I did lose one officer. So those were the four ships that I had into it. And the two transports, which made up the six ships. 
And let's look at this. These guys were to 175 and these were to 110. So look at that. I mean, the mortar and the supply. I don't have to make any adjustments. No adjustments to that. So yeah, nice. All right, that was Savannah. We got that amount of money, that much rep, one career point. I wonder why they're showing me this. A friend in need. Like, they keep showing me the same stuff. Like, I'm deleting it. Yeah, and they're still show Now, this is a bug in the game. Because it, it's showing me all the past stuff that we did, and I'm deleting. So it shouldn't come back. Hey, and I got an award. Oh, yeah, no. This is from the... This was from the other battle. I mean... Yeah, they're showing me all the same old stuff. So I, I really think, I mean, if you want to read this, go right ahead. But this is all the same stuff that they're showing me from this chapter. And I, I, yeah, I already knew about the, you know, all that. Like, delete it. So, yeah, I guess I could report it, but I'm, I'll do that later. But, um, yeah. So, you know what? I don't even really have to do anything. I mean, seriously. Other than... Um, I'll put a career point. Uh, maybe... Like, yeah, I already explained about the, the crew thing, so... I'll, I'll, um... I'm gonna put one here for officers, because, you know... This helps their, this helps their survival. So I'll put one there. I get a 10% chance of officer to die, less less chance of him dying, I guess. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't really have to do anything. I mean, so I can, um, yeah, normally I would save. So let me just save. After Savannah, I guess I'll just put that. Alright, and now I'll do the point of interest. Because, I mean, it's really no point in me doing anything. I don't have to make any adjustments. My ships are... My four ships are good. And I only got to put two ships here, so... I'll, I'll put the two, uh... First-rate ships, right? Yeah, the victory class. I'll put those two puppies in there. Look, it's only 98% and I get a 30% luck. Can you imagine that? I put in the two top ships that I have, first rate ships. I have 30% luck in this also and it's only 98%. This must be a really tough one, but let's see what it is. All right, our success on the high seas has convinced Congress that further development of the fleet is necessary. However, with all the political bodies, no one can agree on what the focus of this new fleet should look like. Our Congressman, William Ellery, has suggested that you should decide based on the two prevailing directions. Your directions will shape these 13 colonies, Navy, forever. Choosing wisely, Captain Sam Samuel Huntington, President of the Continental Congress. All right. Let's see. Without real shipyards and naval bases to support ships of the line, we will never be able to contend with pirates, let alone the might of the Royal Navy. A blue water navy is what we need. The success of the Royal Navy doesn't come from superior designs. 
or larger ships, but from those whose crew them. Oh, I mean, my crews are already really good, though. Without trained officers and crews, we can never... Oh, okay, so is this just going to give me a modifier, then? In other words, if I pick this one, it'll give me a modifier on buying officers or something, and this one will give me a modifier on repairing ships and stuff, maybe. Well, let, you know, I gotta pick one, right? Eh, uh, let's do that. Praying on the weak. Okay, so praying on the weak, that um, POI that I did gave me almost 6,000 just about and five reputation and we sunk the ship. Ah, uh, they gave us the USS Providence, so I'll have to check to see what that is. And it's talking about Savannah. If you want to read that, you can. Pause the screen. Okay. So, minus 25% ship costs and plus 10% recruitment costs. Okay, well, well, when I do the uh, cruise, I guess that'll be okay. The other one might have been better, I don't know. And mine, yeah, 20, okay, yep, yeah, thank you. All right, folks. Um, loggerheads and Motney. I'm just going to take a look at uh, map. Okay, this is a um, seven ships and a red zone. And this is um, five, nine, nine ships. So, so okay, so, so all that that, that, all that that tells me is that um, I'm gonna need nine ships and Seven ships, right? So, I mean, how many ships do I actually have? All right, let's take a look. I have this one. Oh, and hey, uh, 500 damage. Ish. All right, let me see now. So, 694, that's, that's good for now. I mean, so the, the next shi uh, ship battles anyway. So, let me just do... Let me just do optimal, even if it costs me a rip. Oh. Well, it's not, wait a minute, it's not land battles. So let me do this. What I do here is I drop if it's not a land if it's not a land battle I drop units except for supply and mortar I drop units to their um, minimum If you look at their stats, that's some pretty good stats right there, but anyways. And it says the Providence. Oh, so they gave me, they gave me the Providence. Oh, do I really need it? I mean, seriously. I mean, I got a fleet of First rate, second rate, Bella Nona's, and then my transports. And I have this union that was given to me. Um, do I even want to staff it? I mean, that won't cost me anything. And it's already minimum. Um, oh, 
Oh, yeah, but before doing that, I should check and see if I would put guns on it. Okay, now, I didn't sell off my gun, so why can't I put... Now, look at that, right? Now, does that make any sense to you? So if you want to answer that question, you could answer that. All right. I don't believe... Yeah, no, I didn't sell off my... I didn't sell off my guns. Okay, well, I, got, I have nine pounders. I have 12, 18, 24, and 32. All right, let's see if maybe maybe I don't have the type of gun that would go in on on the deck maybe. Okay, let me see. Yeah, cuz see right here um it's going to allow me to put in the 9 pounders or the So if I put the 12 pounders, which are pretty heavy though, it doesn't cost me anything because I have those guns, right? But here, as you can see, yeah, that's what it is. I don't have any six pounders. The max you can put here is six pounders. So that answers that question. And I don't have any six pounders. And so that way, if I put any there, I'd have to pay for them. Well, I'll just do that. And now that will dictate how many can actually go on here. Let's just see. See, I'm just trying to see if I can get it to get a third perk. Yeah, see, I can't. So we'll just go to optimal. Like, normally I wouldn't do this. Because, you know, why do I even want that? But anyways, but I can give them two perks. So this way, if I take them away later. All right, so now let's count the ships again. I have one, two, and I'm gonna go optimal. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, because so I will not use the transports. Unless I, um, the only thought is, don't forget, this one does have guns. So, I mean, I could, I could uh, take supply off. And that would, and if I take him off there, and if I put him up, whoops, nope, sorry, take him off. 
then put him there. Then I would have these guys along with 125 of the crew. And that could be a warship. Like I, w I won't, um, I won't add any more infantry because either I don't want to waste the money and stuff, but that is a possibility that I, I can put the Minerva in because the Minerva now has a fuselier and Marines and they're small units so they can they can help out and, and drop off or I could bump them up to a hundred each I guess but I'm thinking I, I can just leave that with the 125 that gives me two three hundred on the ship or I could go and optimize this here yeah. there yeah so I might be able to add that ship into the into the battle lake so that would give me one two three four five six seven eight nine Yeah, so maybe, maybe this will be the next one I do then. Because you can do them out of order, it doesn't matter. And those will be the nine ships that I put into this battle. So yeah, that'll, that's probably what I will do next time. Because I have it already set up for that. All right, well, if you stuck it through all this of my thought, me thinking about what I'm going to do, that's really great. But wherever you are in the world, have a great day, evening, night. God bless you and your own religion. This is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.